There's a few people jumping up and down at the moment about the government's recent decision on giving this emergency authorisation to use near nicotinoid treated sugar beet seed this spring. Well, that decision has been welcomed hugely by those of us growing the crop because this year it's been absolutely decimated by something called virus yellows, which is a virus brought in by aphids or green fly in the spring. And you can see this crop here, you can see the soil between the rows, which normally you wouldn't see. That would all be green leaf area and you wouldn't see the soil at all. The yield penalty we've had this year has been colossal. This year our crop is struggling to average 50 tonnes per hectare. Last year we averaged over 90 tonnes per hectare. Many growers this year are down as low as 30 tonnes per hectare. To put a few myths straight, people are saying it's banned in the EU. It isn't banned in the EU. There are 13 countries at present who have given their farmers permission to use this treatment this coming year. And many of those countries gave the farmers the same authorization to use it last year. Another thing, bees are damaged, they say. Well, bees do not come in sugar beet. Sugar beet does not flower in year one when it is harvested in the UK. It's harvested in year one for sugar. Abroad, in other countries, it's harvested in year two for the seed that we use the following year. So we need to look at the alternative and the alternatives to neonix are a lot more harmful, a lot more insecticides. And we also need to look at the crop itself because people are saying that sugar should be banned. We shouldn't be using sugar at all. Yes, we shouldn't be using large quantities of sugar, but we also need to realize that we will always be using sugar of some sort. The alternative to locally produced sugar beet in the UK, which is where we need to be, is sugar cane grown abroad with neonix a lot higher rate and over 20 plant protection products that we're banned from using and one last point it's not definite that we will be using neonicotinoid treated seed this year because aphids are controlled by cold weather and if the day degrees that are being monitored at the moment are are cold enough which control the aphids then we will not be using the treatment this coming year